after so many years of not having any major update, Samsung DeX has finally been upgraded. And I honestly thought that Samsung has forgotten about it. But with the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra, DeX has gained several new features. For example, you can now create multiple workspaces for different work or entertainment setup. And when you connect it to an external monitor, you can drag and drop windows between tablet and monitor seamlessly. The experience now feels much closer to using a real desktop, and working with the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra is easier than ever. In fact, I'm preparing this whole video using the Tab S11 Ultra and connected it to the Viewfinity S9 over there. Now, let's take a look on what is new and interesting about the new Samsung DeX. First, let's talk about the workspace feature. This one shouldn't be new to you if you ever used a computer. Normally, I like to separate my working task in one workspace and another one for chatting and web browsing. And that way, I can easily switch in between them depending on what I need to do. And for now, you can do the very same thing on Samsung DeX. Impressive! For example, on the tablet screen, uh, I usually keep my messaging apps like Telegram, Lark, or Messenger, and all grouped into one workspace for convenience. Then, on the external monitor, I will have two workspaces, one dedicated to writing and researching new content, and one more for editing photos like Photoshop, Lightroom, Canva, or even Figma. And switching between workspaces is simple. All you need to do is press Windows and Tab, and select the workspace you want. And right now, One UI 8 allows up to four different workspaces working at the same time. Honestly, I think that is more than enough. Overall, it doesn't feel much different from using a desktop at all. Multitasking on tablet has become much easier than ever. Or now, I can say that we have the most DeX or desktop experience ever. Inside each workspace, you can open up to five apps at once. The window interface has also been slightly redesigned. Icons are now larger, make it easier to tap. Animations are also smoother and feel much natural. It feels more like a smartphone rather than a stiff desktop interface like the old DeX version. And to split the window layout, you can drag a window toward the selfie camera area to make it full screen. And when an app is already in the full screen mode, there's a small horizontal bar near the camera. Tapping it lets you choose between split screen or floating windows. Overall, Samsung DeX has been fine-tuned with lots of small detail that make the experience feel much more natural and refined. Another important upgrade in this DeX version is the ability to drag and drop app between tablet and the external monitor. It's not something mind-blowing, but the experience now feels much more than what I expected on the PC. So when I use it to prepare this video, I didn't have to learn anything new. It just worked naturally. However, one issue I have noticed is that when I drag in the windows between the tablet and monitor, the window actually reloads. For example, if you're watching YouTube and dragging the windows from one monitor to another, the video will stop and reload from the beginning. Well, hopefully that Samsung will find a way to fix it in the future updates. The Tab S11 Ultra still cannot output 4K videos by default as the maximum resolution supported is 2K. You can unlock 4K output using good luck, but then you will notice a bit of cursor delay because it almost feels like the refresh rate now dropped to 30Hz. And that's my overall experience with the Samsung DeX on Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra. Well, aside from DeX, this tab does have some nice upgrades. This year is even getting thinner, only 5.1 mm of thickness, which is about half millimeter thinner than before. For such a large 14.6 inch display, even that small reduction makes it noticeably more comfortable to hold. The screen is also slightly brighter now, reaching up to 16 nits of brightness. The selfie camera is also smaller, 
Now it's just a simple water drop notch. The S Pen has also been improved. Its design and feels are more like a real pencil thanks to the use of hexagonal shape instead of cylindrical shape like last few version. This would also help the pen from rolling off the table. Plus, Samsung added the new Quick Tool feature where pressing a button on the pen bring up a small pop-up for quick changing the pen type or color. And that's everything about my experience using the new Samsung DeX on the Galaxy Tab S11 Ultra running the latest One UI 8. I don't think that we even need to argue about whether it can replace a laptop. Of course not, since mobile and desktop app are very different. But what do you think about the new Samsung DeX this year? Let me know your thought in the comment section down below, okay? Now, thanks for watching. This is NK from ThinkView, and see you guys next time.